name of Allah, the Beneficent. B! All praises to Fa'i, Ya'i, Allah'i. We stand before you on Mount Zion, the city of David in Jerusalem, to convict you, whip it, you wicked shepherds, who hold the Most High flock at hand against yourselves, that the Most High will send death to you if you do not let his sheep go. According to the prophecy, the Hamashiach Christ is releasing the plagues upon the earth. If you do not want to dwell in the plagues, release the children of Israel and let them go forth so they can come to Jerusalem to give praise and worship their God. Fa'i ya'i alai, as it is written, woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Ye eat the fat and ye clothe you with the wolves. Ye kill them that are that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. Thus said, Fa'i ya'i alai, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from the feeding flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. So the God of Israel says, Release the children of Israel. This message go out to all nations, to the four corners of the earth. Let the children of Israel return with reparations and repatriate them back into the homeland in the Negev of Jerusalem and the Jebusites. And as we stand here with this flag and as a symbol, this is also a call for all the brothers to the marriage supper of the land. To come up to the marriage supper of the land. But before you come up to this marriage supper, make sure you marry the woman next to you properly. I've had too many calls up here in reference to sisters and brothers that have not been married properly. According to the law, you both have a marriage agreement. Some people say Kaduba. You both have a marriage agreement with the woman that you're with. Any woman that you don't have that agreement with, she's considered to be your servant or your concubine. But all of the ones that you consider to call your wives, you have a marriage agreement with her that I don't have the daughters of Israel crying out to me for justice. The scripture says that justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. We suppose that righteous judgment among our people and who you see standing before you are the true teachers of Israel coming out of Zion. As this day fall, let Torah go out. All men of Israel shall put things down on paper. This law is coming from Mount Zion, as it is written that the true teachers will come out of Mount Zion establishing Torah. So be it. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah!